Hello everybody, this is Jens. We are on the Embedded World Fair in Nuremberg 2015 and we are looking for interesting things at the booths here. The big subject here on the Embedded Fair is the Internet of Things and we are now on the NXP booth and this is Gordon Cooper. Hello. And he has something interesting on the desk. Yes. So with NXP looking at the Internet of Things, we, we think security is extremely important in the Internet of Things. So we've introduced a new microcontroller that has some security features to help our customers protect their code and their data. So the new microcontroller, seen here on our, our low-cost evaluation board, is based on our existing LPC 1800 and LPC 4300 microcontrollers. We've added some secure features such as an AES encryption, a true random number generator, and some OTP key location storage to protect your keys from people trying to extract them via software. Now, um, we also have a security part called the A7 series secure element. This provides true banking grade security. And this is paired with a microcontroller for the utmost in security. So we offer mm -hmm. our customers okay. sort of a range of options for security. Okay. And this has an Arduino pinout? Yeah, I see. you can easily yeah. add an Arduino shield to this. Yep. And in fact, is this also from NXP, this shield? Yep, this is yeah. a shield from NXP that's available okay. as well. This mm -hmm. gives you some connectivity. It's an Ethernet connection mm -hmm. and a SCIO card. Mm -hmm. Here it shows a gain span Wi-Fi module plugged in. So you can actually buy this as a bundled kit from Element 14, Premier Farnell, Newark. Mm -hmm. um, and you can actually start developing today. Okay, and you also have so yeah. uh, software support, I Software is available, that's a, a great point. So we have a, a partner in CypherBridge who mm -hmm. actually has all the encryption software mm -hmm. that they have on this as a uh, binary for people to test it out and then mm -hmm. they can work with CypherBridge to use their software. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is for you to get started from evaluation, but we actually have an existing customer who has created a, a secure IoT gateway. So I'd like to introduce Tom Mudrick from ESL Smart Solutions who can tell you more about this box that they've created. Thank you, Gordon. Yes, my name is Tom Madrick. I'm the technical director of ESL Smart Solutions. We are a cloud solution provider and systems integrator. Uh, we have a, a big back end in the cloud and we've tried to enable it to make it easier for customers to get to market with an Internet of Things gateway. So please let me introduce our uh, Eventman access point to you, or the EMAP. Uh, as Gordon said, this is using uh, NXP's new uh, secure microcontroller to encrypt all of the data before it's sent up to the, uh, mm -hmm. to the cloud. Um, in here we have um, uh, an 1800 series uh, device. We also have an NXP NFC reader for doing uh, local NFC communication. And the idea behind the gateway is it's expandable to include additional transceivers, Bluetooth, six low pan, uh, Wi-Fi, etc., to connect all of the end devices. Do you also offer cloud service, a cloud yes, space? we do. For so the clients? Yeah. ESL's traditional business is in the financial uh, industry. Uh, we've been looking mm. after back office uh, networks and, and cloud security for banking industry uh, customers for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently, at the beginning of last year, branched out into the embedded market to uh, try and target the Internet of Things with our existing uh, mm -hmm. infrastructure. So the clients can hire cloud space and get this gateway? To Not just cloud space. We also uh -huh. have a, a database uh, driven event management software behind us and that is our key IP really. Uh -huh, so okay. once all the data is sent up to the cloud we can uh -huh. filter it and process it uh -huh. and generate events uh -huh. uh, based okay. on that data uh -huh. on a set of rules. So here we have one example of an end customer application that we've developed. Uh, the customer came to us and they wanted to do a, a medication tracking uh, application. Mm -hmm. uh, they, des they design and develop these seals. Mm -hmm. We've designed all of the electronics and embedded software to go with it. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as a, a patient breaks this seal, mm -hmm. it communicates with our cloud via the Wi-Fi module mm -hmm. um, and lets the cloud know that, that mm -hmm. that's happening. So you have an electrical contact there? Exactly. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, in here is a, a Cortex M0, again from NXP, the 1100 mm -hmm. series. Uh, we also have an I2C N tag in here for storing all the data and mm -hmm. for configuring the pack using the Internet of Things mm -hmm. gateway. So we offer it up, the pharmacy pre-programs the pack, okay. the date and time of when the medication is supposed to be taken. Okay. And if it isn't taken, our event management software generates a text message okay. or an email to remind the patient. So the texts are located here? Inside this uh, box? The, the end tag is actually okay. in, in the back here. Uh -huh, I see. And mm -hmm. it's, it's used uh, on the NFC reader mm -hmm. to, to program it. Okay. Not just used for pill um, adherence yeah. monitoring, but we also have an asset tracking uh, application as well. So as soon as you break this seal, you can be invoiced for uh, the asset and a replacement can be shipped to you as well. And this shows the, uh, the conductive seals. I see.
But this is currently only a demo application or is it running? Outside? We would say we're at pre-production stage with our client. Okay. Uh, we're in negotiation with um, potential customers and we should be starting trials within the next quarter. Mm -hmm. And what are the costs of this box at the so moment? This, this cost here um, for the development of kit itself, we're probably talking about $120. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of functionality in here and a lot of security. Mm -hmm. um, that can be cost reduced, but it's designed to get a customer to market very quickly. Okay. Um, the way this has been designed is it's got stackable mm -hmm. trays that you can in insert your own transceivers um, mm -hmm. to, to meet your end application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think there are many other applications for this box. Of course, of course, yes. Uh, we, we don't know what our end customers are going to use it for, so we want to make it expandable. Uh, and we can work mm -hmm. with our customers to tailor that solution uh, mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, thanks a lot and thanks Thank for you. watching.